Okay, so this is my pocket, my Star Wars pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and take the pins out for this. And I'm going to take that off. Now, cute. Um, notice how this is a directional print. If I were to turn it upside down, all the Star Wars would be upside down. So I want to make sure that I use, that I fold it the right way and that I have the right side out. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to fold it in half right here. Now, if I were to do it this way, see how the Star Wars would be upside down, but if I do it this way, the right side up though. So that's gonna be the front of my pocket. So I'm going to just fold that in half and steam it. Make sure you use steam here and then you can use the clapper to make that seem permanent. You let it cool down like that for a little bit. And then I'm gonna hold it up, see how it has a nice crease in the top of the pocket. That's how you get the pocket down to the size it's gonna be on the bag. Okay, so here's the pocket um, on the front of the bag, the bottom, so the casing mark is at the top. I'm going to line up this pocket on the bottom of the bag. So these raw edges right here are gonna go toward the bottom and that fold is gonna be at the top. If I do it this way, then that fold is gonna be at the top and you're gonna have an ugly edge at the top of your pocket. So we need to put it this way. And then notice the Star Wars, I want the side that the Star Wars are right side up. Okay, so I'm just gonna align those up like this and I'm gonna pin around here. Take some pins and I'm going to just stick. Now remember how you pin so that the pins are poking out. I'm going to start by pinning the edges and the points first. Okay. So when I'm stitching, I want to get to this pin with it being horizontal so it's not in my way. And then I'm going to pivot. I'm going to stitch this way and get to that pin, and then I'm going to stitch this way and get to this pin. For the pocket, I just to baste the pocket on, I need to lengthen my stitch to a five. So I'm just gonna push this button until that line goes all the way to the top. And that's it, that sets it for a basting stitch. You need to set your needle in the down position. So I'm going to push this button. That arrow will be pointing down. And when you stop the machine, when you lift your foot off the foot pedal, the machine will stop with the needle in the down position, like this. This pocket on at a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm gonna just align that fabric up to the edge of my presser foot and stitch. And I'm gonna start, I need, even though it's a long stitch, I'm still gonna back stitch just to make sure my, my pocket doesn't come off. Okay, so, so I'm gonna come around until I get to the corner. I'm gonna get to the corner, I'm gonna stop so the needle stops in the down position. Now right here, I want you to notice that the edge of my fabric is lined up. When I get ready to turn it, it's gonna line up right there and then I'm gonna turn it like this and then. And then when I get to the top of the pocket, I'm going to just back stitch and then bring my needle up. So I'm gonna push this till the needle comes up. My needle just came up by itself and Finished. Okay, so um, now we have basted the pocket on. We That's going to hold the pocket on, but now we need to put at least one pocket so that this pocket isn't droopy when you get the backpack done. So I'm going to make sure this line is matching across the top edge to make sure I'm getting a straight line here. So I'm trying to guide it with something. So you can, if, if that line doesn't work, you can use the bottom edge to line it up. Or I just want to make sure the grid is lining up both ways.
machine should be ready, but always, always, always test your stitch before you start stitching. Usually you don't have this little hole threaded on top of the bobbin case, but right for this stitch for refined um, embroidery and buttonholes, we, we thread that because it makes the embroidery just work a little better. So I'm gonna cut the end off and I'm going to just thread through that little hole. Okay, and then uh, make sure it's long enough so that you can cut it the right length here and you just put it back in the machine the same way. Okay, Okay. so now I am going to stitch my yellow line that I made. So I'm gonna line that yellow line up to the center. There's no center line for me to see, so I'm just gonna line it up in the center as best I can. And then I'm just gonna start stitching. reinforcement stitch right here just a, and I'm going to show you how to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done pockets now I'm going to change it to stitch two the two will come up on the screen you need to adjust your settings so I'm going to leave the embroidery foot on for this step and then I'm going to just go down until it hits it's like you see this little it, it doesn't say one half but it looks like an embroidery stitch just that little tiny stitch right there your, um, the line's gonna line up with that. Okay, and then this is going to change to a two. And then we're going, we're ready. Now to um, sew the, the reinforcement stitch, I'm gonna line it up with the top of where the pocket is. And I did this with red thread so you'd be able to see, but it's gonna go right across the top here. So let me just put it, it's just a little miniature zigzag stitch. It's gonna reinforce that pocket to hold it down so that it doesn't come up when you're using it. Just sew it about just a couple stitches and then back stitch. Just sews the end, bring the needle up. Okay, and then when I'm done, it's going to look like like this and it's going to look like this there's going to be a reinforcement stitch here here and here and that one looks the best out of the three so just look close at that see how there's spaces on that one but there's not you're going to try to get as close to this one as you can